first of all, I, I was living in New York City. I wasn't in LA. I wasn't. I didn't understand LA. I didn't understand the architecture. I couldn't relate to it. Um, so I was flown out to do publicity with this Robin Williams, who I had never met. I was still living there. We hadn't started filming anything. There was no pilot. We were just going to start the show. And so after meeting Robin and working with him for the first time, he said, hey, I'm going to be at the comedy club tonight. You know, I was like, where's the comedy club? I was at the Holiday Inn over on, on um, uh, Highland. And so I had a friend that I knew from Michigan, so I called, that was living in LA, called him and said, hey, you want to go to the comedy store and see this guy I'm going to be doing the show with? No! Everyone I've ever known, Robin! <laughs> there are people here I've slept with twice. <laughs> and we went, and it was like, I couldn't believe how brilliant it was. I mean, I'd, I had, wasn't a comedy club devotee anyway. But we had to watch, you know, other comedians until Robin came on. And it was like, oh my God, this guy is brilliant. This is a poem now. <laughs> a poem written under the influence of Quaaludes entitled Blah, Blah. So cerebral and so funny, but so deep. And his stuff had really wonderful inner meaning. It was it was amazing. I, I couldn't believe how I had dropped into this pot of luck that I was going to be able to be on TV with that guy. Robin's comedy was, it was really his own. Um, you know, uh, generally comics, um, it, it, it can be very jokey, but Robin did characters because Robin was an actor. And so he really understood delving into characters and then finding the absurdity within that. But, um, but he would go places that nobody went to. And I know people always like to liken him to Jonathan Winters, and there's a lot of that. Um, but Robin was much more cerebral uh, in his early stuff.